Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Mr. Asaf Fundikwera. I am going to be taking you through a very powerful training called uh, Treasure Chest Number no. Four, and it talks about how to be a world-class upline. Yes, I joined network marketing a couple of years ago, and I'm so honored that it has been an exciting journey. Yes, I am looking to basically leaving uh, an inheritance for over 10 generations of my grandchildren because in the Bible he said that a good man is running his head for his children, his children up to four levels. So I'm setting a higher bar. I came because I wanted an extra income, multiple marketing industry, but times have changed. My goal shifted from extra income. Right about now, I'm trying to pursue what we call financial freedom. So the reason why I'm here is not talk about me. I'm here to talk about how you can build a very powerful business as a good upline. How can you become a world-class upline building an MLM system? So just give me a little while. Let me upload our training and we can get started. I hope you're having a wonderful time because uh, it looks chilly up here in Kampala. And uh, let's proceed, let's proceed. Ah, there you go. Treasure chest number four. The reason why we call this train treasure chest is because it's a combination of so many things. If you look at back in the days, the treasure chest used to co collect several minerals, be it gold, diamonds, be it rubies, be it tanzanite, they would all be collected in one box. And you know what it means. Whenever you fell onto a treasure chest, it meant that your life in terms of finances had taken a different leap all at once. So treasure chest number four in network marketing and specifically techno projects, how to be a world-class applying. Step number one, as you get started, step number one is get the prospect registered. It is one thing to sign up someone, but the first responsibility as a business builder is to make sure that the person you bring on board is automatically registered into the system. Now, what do I mean here? The first step in being a great upline is getting your prospect registered with Techno Project. Uh, the other thing you need to do is take them through the whole process of registering a new person because what you do is exactly what your business partners are going to do. So give them their username and password, fulfill that. Some people decide to give them to themselves. And we've seen situations where people keep their business partner's password and in the long term when the account is accumulating money, they go ahead and start withdrawing it. Remember the only person in this business with ethics is none other than you. Everyone is building their business. What techno projects or any other MLM companies providing you is a system that you can use to build your network. So integrity, issues of integrity are upon an individual because it is your business. How together? So teach them how to log to log into their dashboard and help them interpret the terminologies in the back office. One of the days where you had to go to an MLM company and you ask, you would ask the company to print for you a genealogy to see how many people are in your network. Today, everything, all the information is at the convenience of your what? Of your, your, your computer or your basically your laptop. So once you have a password and the username automatically can be able to access it. But what I'm trying to say is that Teach them how to log into their dashboard and help them interpret the terminology in the back office. Then introduce your new recruits to our training system. This is a disclaimer. If you ever join any network marketing company without a training system, that is a red flag that very, very soon it is going to reach a point and it's going to stop growing. So introduce them to our training system, the one of techno projects as well as your team. The other thing is help them understand the benefits of Spages. Spages is our school fees application. Spages stands for SOMA, pay as you go edupayment system. So make them understand the benefits of Spages, the techno brands that we promote in our system on the rewards program to have an imaginary experience with them. So step number one, get the prospect registered. It's not just bring them to the training center and that's it. Step number two, 
creating a name list. First and foremost, in terms of being a good applicant, buy them a book for their name list. I am the kind of old school guy who still believes that you need to write your name list in a, what you call a counter book. A big black book where you can fill in a couple of names every single day. So buy them a book for their name list. This is the best and greatest gift an applicant can give to a downline. Brainstorm with them at least 20 names from each of the categories of people that I'm going to show you. Then make a name list of at least 200 names, minimum 200 names, because there's a lot of held on to organization that says that a normal human being within his center of influence knows more than 200 people. Unless if you have a psychotic problem, you do not know 200 people. So make a name list of at least 200 names. This is the most important activity for all great life lines. Avoid a situation where you have to send them away to go and write those names. Sit down with them and start brainstorming each and every one of the categories I'm going to show you. All together. So in creating a name list, it is something you do with your business partner. Yes, I know people don't have time. When you sign up, someone is rushing to go back to the office, but at least schedule some time so that you can write a name list together. Because the name list is the lifeblood of your business. You don't have a name list in your business, you are dead. If you don't have a name list, forget about making money in network marketing. Yes, you might make some money for a couple of times, but building a solid business requires that you have the discipline of sitting down and putting all the names you have in your phone onto a booklet called a name list. I guess I'm very clear on that. Now, the other thing I need to emphasize about creating a name list, these are the categories on how you can jog their memory to be able to add, know that they know as many people as they can imagine. Now, when you sit down with your, your, your new recruits, uh, one, within the family, who does he know? Their mother, their father, their brother, their sister, their cousins, every one of them. You can't fail to get 20 names here. High school or secondary school. For both of these two, you can get 20, 20 fresh names. All together. College or university. Whenever they went to school, I am sure, from the first semester to the last semester, they basically know as many people as possible. So come up with at least 20 names again. Past work, how many jobs have you ever had? Look at the time you started working until now. Within this category, also come up with 20 names. Current work, your wedding list, your neighborhood, each of these come up with 20 names. Look at the clubs you've been to, organization, PTA, Rotary, Lions Club, all together, youth, youth groups, political parties, you can't fail to get 20 names from each of those books. If you're a sports person, within your circle of influence, I'm sure you can also get 20 names. Look at the church you belong to, or the mosque you belong to. Professional associations. Uh, you are a member of basically the accounting uh, association. You are a member of the insurance association. You are a team, you are part of basically a team of uh, brokers. These associations are also going to bring you a category of people. You need every type of person. This is an equal opportunity for everyone. Location. Who do you know in Dar es Salaam? Who do you know in Nairobi? Who do you know in Kampala? Who do you know in Chigali? Lusaka, in Shasha, ETC. Vocation. Who do you know is a doctor, a lawyer, a dentist? Now, from each of these 13 categories, I told you that you need 20, 20 names. Just with this entire, you have more than 200 names. So, but the idea here is, Make sure you sit down with that, you sign up, discuss those categories together, and they are going to get names. Let me tell you one thing, much as they don't have the number, but let them write the name, along the way they're going to start basically looking for the number with intention. But if you let them go, that is the best trap. Okay, step number three, booking appointments. Now you have to become a master at making appointments in network marketing. The art of basically fixing appointments and, and keeping them is the fundamental into building a very successful business. So this step number three is about contacting the warm market to look at their new business. So here you're contacting the people. Warm market simply stands for the people who know you. Whenever they mention your name, they can be able to identify that this is so and so. It's about contacting the people who know you and you know them in person. For them to look at your what? Your business. Set a target with them on how many appointments you'll, you'll do on a daily or weekly basis. 
Are together? The other thing I need to emphasize is uh, give your new sign up. It's a few simple scripts for inviting their own market for media point. When I just started in network marketing, my airplane told me that forget everything you know about this industry. And I want you to plainly use the script. Whoever you come into contact with as your friend, tell him that there is something I would like to start, but I want you to come and give me advice. And he told me, do not stop until you have basically contacted over like 200 friends of yours. Now, when I had done basically that invitation on like 100 people, I almost had like 60 people registered them because when they came to be presented to, they were presented to by a profession. You see how it works. There's something I would like to start, but I would like you to come and have a look at it and give me advice. When they came and fell into the hands of a professional, it was, they were very powerfully closed. Just know one thing, at the back of your mind, you know so many things you can do, but you need some bit of what? Training. So the same script is what I duplicate among us, the people who are very new in my business. I hope that sounds very well. Now, so this is the fastest way to grow your business and kickstart in momentum. This will also get duplicated down your business because in our business market, see monkey, to set appointment, learn to become very good at booking. As a rule of thumb, when you set an appointment, please, we have a tendency to forget, make sure you fulfill your commitment because people like to deal with people who are serious about life. Step number four, in becoming a good upline, world-class upline, presenting the opportunity. Now, the rules of presentation uh, are simply very plain because every one of us learns by modeling behavior. The way I learned how to present my opportunity is through watching my upline present. And every time these leaders kept on presenting, I kept recording them with my phone. Then I'd go back at home and basically jot down every single word they said. And when I started presenting, I had the examples in my mind. So, but as a good upline, it is your role to show, to model the right behavior in terms of presenting the opportunity by your what? Your downline. So this is what you're supposed to do. Teach your new downline how to edify their guest and how to edify you, the upline. Now, before they even introduce a guest to you, to be able to share the concept with them, Teach them how they edify you. Edification is basically making sure that you uplift the spirit of the person who's supposed to present you. It could be your upline, it could be your crossline, but you believe that he's better place to be able to explain to your prospect the right way this business works. So you need to learn how to edify him. So you, the upline, you need to teach your new downline how to edify their guest. So you have concepts like, hello, Jude. Uh, this is Asaf, he's one of our top leaders. He's very successful in this business and uh, he's going to show you how to be successful. He's one of the uplands I look up to. He has done so many wonderful things and he's a friend of mine. I would like you to take, to listen to him. Everything he shares with you, we'll basically discuss at a later time. And Jude, this is my, my friend. Uh, he's basically one of the lawyers in town and he's a very successful guy. I know he has the the, the business eye to be able to take the opportunity in this project. So please, I would like you to basically handle it for me and I'll be seated here. So make sure that you have all the presentation tools before the presentation begins. And these include a presentation guide, a book of circles, a statement or screenshot for your data tracking center as testimony. Remember, evidence that the business is real is what gets people to sign up. If they decide to commit their time with you, it better be worth it. You cannot just stop at basically presenting. Now, so you the upline, super upline, world-class upline, present the business as they watch to model the right behavior. Don't accept your prospect to bring you a guest and they go away. It is totally unprofessional. Make sure when they bring a guest, they sit close, watch, and they become masters and nodding their what? Their head. All together. So while you present to your prospect, Teach them how to nod their head as profession because as they watch how you do it automatically, they are going to do it the same way. And when they, you do it for them, they're also going to do it for their business partner. So do with them at least 10 one-on-ones. And why do you do this? There are four reasons why you do the presentation when they're watching. Number one, you're trying to teach them. Number two, you're supporting them. Number three, you're duplicating yourself. And then number four, 
you're building confidence in them that they can do it themselves. As a disclaimer, do not let you down and bring a guest and they go away. Make sure they stay around. Step number five, following up. The fortune has always been in the follow-up, so you cannot let your guests, your, your, your guests go for 24 to 48 hours without basically getting in touch with them. So as a good upline, make sure you follow up. Following up is a commitment, uh, is a commitment you put up that you will do what you say you are going to be able to do. So some people will join you immediately. Some people will want to think about it first. It is not normal. So if you have a problem with this, you better think twice. Not everyone is going to join the same day. We now need a simple follow-up system for keeping in touch with the people after we have presented to them. So this includes answering questions, sending them pictures and video trainings, adding them to a Zoom presentation or a chat group and inviting them for a bigger presentation. In, profession, in network marketing professionally, it takes four to five exposures for someone to take a rational decision. So do not think that when you present someone the first time he has understood. After the one-on-one -on -one presentation, the next presentation should be a group presentation. After the group presentation, the next presentation could be a hotel meeting. The fourth one could be an anniversary celebration. But follow-up takes phases. But remember one thing, the fortune has always been in the follow-up. Step number six, duplication. Simply put, duplication, whatever you do, your team does the same. So they, they copy your act. So do not instruct anybody to do something that you do not do yourself. Because in our business, monkey see monkey do. Right together? So whatever you want your team to do, first you have to do it. Your team will automatically copy that same practice you've done. So be the kind of downline you would like to have because in MLM, monkey see monkey do. Introduce them to the sales system that you operate with and the scripts that you use, you use for basically prospecting and inviting. So remember, any business that you do without duplication will not last a long time as a good upline. Whatever you do, make sure the people you bring on board can be able to do it. So that is it about becoming a world-class upline. But one thing I'd like to leave you as a message is uh, the learning has always been in the doing. And uh, the other thing I need to emphasize is attitude is everything. Attitude is what? Is everything. The old cliche, you will only get back what you put into something is very true. If you only put in negative energy into the world and have a bad attitude, then you can expect negativity and bad attitudes to come back to you. Conversely, positive people often achieve positive results. Here are some of the attitude adjustments you need to make if you want to have success in network marketing or multi level marketing. So that is good for folks. So attitude is everything. If you believe you can, you're right. If you believe you can't, you're also right. So just do it. Action creates results. Results create motivation. And motivation creates energy. All together, ladies and gentlemen, as we proceed, uh, these are the steps in attaining. These are the steps in attaining. And number one, you start with your dreams. All together, you start with your dreams. And uh, this is where you begin from. To be able to get your dreams, there's quite a journey. To be able to get your dreams, you need to develop what we call a good learning and listening attitude. And uh, as you develop that attitude, you're going to be able to learn. In our business, when you remove the letter L from the word learn, you're automatically going to earn. If you're able to learn, you're able to teach. If you're able to teach, you're able to do what we call duplication because most of the time, what? You're teaching people how to be like you. If you're able to duplicate, you can delegate. The time is going to come when you have like over 100,000 people in your system and you cannot be in those places at the same time. But if you're a good leader, automatically it's going to work for you. If you're able to delegate, you can multiply. Time is going to come when you have a team in Dubai, you have a team in South Africa, Johannesburg, you have a team in Nairobi, Tanzania, you have a team in Barara, Masaka, Kokoto, Aguru, Arua. So when you have, you're able to multiply, you're able to have what, do what we call, have a network. Now with a network, the income comes automatically. Now there is no shortcut. From here up to here, there is a process. And that is exactly what you need to go through. 
So when you journey to your dreams, you're going to go through so many things. But what you need to understand is there's no magic being in network marketing. All you need to do is basically go ahead and do the right thing. So that's said and done. Uh, thank you for attending this Zoom meeting. And I know one thing that if you partner in this project, your life will not remain the same. Uh, these are our social media handles. So you can basically follow us on these social media handles and this is our WhatsApp number. So feel free to ask any questions. Thank you for coming and may God bless you.